Hello all, this is Joy from Kodilar Technologies, Bangalore. As you know, GST has been introduced in India by the central government. A lot of companies are confused regarding the GST and its complications. So today, we are going to solve all your problems related to GST. We are going to have a session on Magento GST extension. Kodilar was the first company in India to come up with a full range GST extension that is compatible with all existing Magento e-commerce platforms, providing a seamless integration with existing Magento taxation structures. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So after installing the extension, the first step would be to log in to your Magento admin panel. So after we've logged in, we can go to the system and Magento Connect Manager. So using Magento Connect Manager, we can install the extension in our system. So after you open the Magento Connect Manager, you just choose the file which you have just downloaded. And after the zip file has been uploaded, we can just click on the upload button and Magento will take care of the installation process for you. That's done. So after the extension is successfully installed, the next step would be to configure the extension. So for that, we can return to the admin panel and we can go to system configuration. So inside system configuration, under the general tab, we can see that the GST tab is, has been added. So this has four configurations which we can do. The first one is to enable or disable the extension. So obviously we would uh, like to enable it. The second one is to show the shipping GST as separate for the other GST tax. So we can enable that if you want. The third one would be to put our GST ID for our store. So let's say the ID for our store is 123456 in that case. And the last one is the production state where the store is being operated on. So let's say in this example, it's Karnataka. After filling all the information, we can save the configuration. So after the extension has been configured, the next step would be to configure the tax settings. For that, we go to the tax column under sales and we choose the display full tax summary to yes under shopping cart display settings as well as orders, invoices, credit memo display settings and then we save the configuration. So that would allow the GST split to be shown in the front end. The next step would be to show the GST IN in the front end as well. For that we have to go to the customer configuration under the customers tab and here we have to put some custom HTML under the text, HTML and PDF section. So these are the HTMLs which we have to put. So I will first copy the text HTML and put it under the text column. I'll do the same thing with the HTML and the same will be done with the PDF column as well. So the HTMLs to be put in these columns will be shared in the documentation shared to you by Codilar. You can directly copy and paste from there and then save the configuration. So after we've set up the configuration, the next part would be to set up the tax rules. For that, we go to the sales, tax and manage tax rules. Here we create the tax rules. So for this example, we're going to use the GST 18% tax rule. The next part would be to create an attribute to store the HSN code of the products. So for that, we go to the manage attributes section and we create a new attribute. So we'll call it HSN underscore code and we'll save the attribute. The name should be HSN or whatever you want to show. And then finally we save the attribute. Now we'll uh, add this attribute into the attribute set. So for this example, we're going to use the attribute set clothing. So as you can see, this HSN code is present. We'll add it to the general section of that attribute set and we'll save that attribute set. After it's saved successfully, we can go to one product using that attribute set. So for this example, we can use this product. So we will use this uh, Chelsea T product. So this uses the clothing uh, attribute set. So under the general section, we can see the HSN. So we will add the HSN number for that product. Let's say it's 123456. And in the prices section, as you can see, the tax class is the GST 18% tax class. And then we save that product. So after all of the products have been saved in a similar fashion, the backend configuration is complete. So if everything is set up properly in the backend, we should be able to see the GST splits on the cart page, on the order review of the checkout page, on the admin order view page, 
on the emails, the customer dashboard, the PDFs generated of the invoices and so on. So let me just put a walkthrough of placing an order and show you how the GST plates show up. So we'll just buy this product which we have just set up in the backend. So I'll add it to the cart. So as you can see the GST is coming up here as 13.50 rupees. So I'll proceed to checkout and on the checkout page after filling all of the information in the final order review part we can see that the GST split would show up there, there as well. So let me just fill up the information. So the GST IN can be put in, put in, in the billing information or by the customer as well if he has a GST IN number. So I'll just put test over there. I'll just put in some random information. And I'll continue. So on the right hand side you can see that the GST IN has been uh, reflected in the billing address. And if we continue and go to the order review section we can see that the GST split would show up here as well. And we can see the separate shipping GST, CGST, SGST over here. So now I will finally place the order. So after the order is placed in the back end as well, we can see all of the GST splits. So I will just go to the sales order section. and This is the order which I have just placed. So if we come down, we can see on the item level, we can see the CGST, SGST and IGST we will also be able to see which is null in this case. And in the below order totals also we can see the total uh, CGST and SGST for this order. So if we generate an invoice for this order we can see this reflected there as well. As you can see the same things are reflected here as well which was reflected in the order. So I'll just create the invoice and just take a printout in the PDF format. So this is the PDF which is generated. So in the PDF as well, you can see that the splits are showing properly for the items as well as the final totals. The same splits would be available in the customer dashboard as well as all of the emails part would be to generate the reports so if we go to the report section I'm sorry if we go to the report section and sales uh, orders or sales tax so in the sales tax uh, as you can see the total uh, GST the CGST the SGST as well as the IGST is re reflected here as well so let me just uh, generate a report for you guys So as you can see like uh, the GST, the CGST and SGST, IGST are reflected properly in the reports as well and if we export the report in a CSV or XML format it would be reflected there as well. And the same thing would be visible for the sales orders, I mean the uh, reports for the orders as well. So let me just uh, generate a report for orders. fill in some random date and yeah as you can see the total GST split is showing uh, here as well and if we export uh, the report in CSV format it would be reflected there as well. Okay guys thank you so much I appreciate you uh, spending some time to watch this video I hope uh, I have been successful into explaining all the implementations and configurations of the GST extension if you face any issues feel free to drop an email at hello at codila.com and we will try to reply as soon as possible thank you